Okay, this is an example problem for an FCC cell uh, that is face centered cubic, and uh, it's about the planar density. Now, um, we are going to look at the planar density for the 100 and the 110 planes. Now, the 100 plane is any of these um, sides of the cube itself. So it could be this side or this side. All of those are equivalent uh, planes because it is a cube. If it were, say, orthorhombic or so on, and it had different parameters on one side or different sizes on one side or the other, uh, then it wouldn't be the same. But since these all are um, the same size, A, here, 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 and so on, um, then we can use any of those particular planes. And that's the 100 plane. 100 plane means that it intersects the x-axis at one unit cell length A here. That's where it intersects the uh, x-axis and it's parallel to the z and parallel to the y-axis. So this plane here will never run into the z or the y. Like I said, the uh, uh, this plane is equivalent to the other ones that are maybe will intersect the z but not the x and the y, uh, but they're all the same. The 110 axis intersects the x and the y axis but is parallel to the z. So the 110 axis actually kind of goes right down the middle of this cube. And note carefully that it intersects two of the face centered um, atoms whereas the 110 axis uh, has one face centered involved with it. So we're going to look at those two planes. Now the 100 plane, draw just a square here, has one two, three, four atoms on the corners and one atom right in the middle. Now it has to be right in the plane. If it's off, uh, off of the plane then it doesn't count. But this one's right in the plane. So for each of the corners right here, 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 and here we have one quarter of an atom. So four corners times one quarter atom per corner equals one atom. And then for the F C atom, this one right here, it counts as one. And so we have two atoms. Well, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself. We want to figure out what planar density is. But maybe we need the definition first. Planar density is the number of atoms in a plane. And again, these are atoms that have their centers in the plane. Uh, any part that's not including the center of an atom, that doesn't count. As long as the center of the atom is in the plane, then we're good. The uh, rest, you know, if something's a little bit outside, um, above or below that plane, it doesn't count. Number of atoms in the plane divided by the area. Pretty simple. So 
getting back to what I was just calculating here, we added up all the number of atoms in a plane. So for 100, that's going to be 2. And then the area. This is where a lot of mistakes happen. Okay. We're going to do it in terms of the radius of the atoms. So uh, our area is equal to a squared because it's uh, it's a square here. Let's see a times a, so that's a squared. But the real question is, what is a in terms of the radius of the atom? Well, if you look at this model here, the radii touch along this diagonal, and this diagonal is a times the square root of 2, but I have 1 radius, 2 radii, 3 radii, 4 radii. So here's r, here's r, here's r, and here's r. So I have 4 r equals a this is a and this is a and so if I square that and I square that add them together take the square root I get a square root of 2 equals 4 R so we end up with a equals 4 R over the square root of 2 or you can rewrite this multiplying top and bottom by the square root of 2 as 2 radical 2 R. Make sure you don't put the R underneath the radical. So then I take that and plug it into here. 2 square root of 2 times R. And I take all of that and I square it. And that gets me 8 R squared. Not too bad. So my planar density of FCC on the 1, 0, 0 plane is equal to 2 atoms divided by 8 times the square of the radius of the atoms. And I can simplify this to 1 quarter atom per radius squared. Now if I want to compare that value to the 110 plane, I'll have to go through a similar analysis. But notice how this figure is not a square like this one. We still have A here but this distance from here to here actually goes across these lines, across the top. Or it could be um, this diagonal, but it's the diagonal. And we already know that that diagonal is 4R. So in some ways, this might even be easier. Okay, and our. Um, atoms are again one in each corner that gives us one and then we have these face centered atoms up here and down below one on the top and one on the bottom I guess up here and down here and each of those has one half of itself in the uh, within this area. So uh, we can do this calculation of number of atoms in the plane where we have uh, identical to this one we've got one atom but then for the face centered two face centered times one half each equals one atom and we add them up and we get two atoms again but here is where things get uh, different 
our area is equal to a times 4 r because it's a rectangle up here. Well, as we figured out, a is 2 square root of 2 r. So this is 2 square root of 2 r times 4 r. And so our total area ends up with 8 square root of 2 r squared. Okay, putting this into the planar density of FCC in the 110 plane, we get 2 atoms over 8 square root of 2 r squared, so it's the number of atoms divided by the area. And breaking that out, we've got 0 0.177 atoms per radius squared. Now if you notice, right off the bat, we've got a quarter as our coefficient here, and we have uh, 0.177 here. So 0 0.25, 177. This uh, plane has more atoms per square unit than this plane. So if we have the same material, then um, looking at this particular plane, we'll have more atoms that are exposed than if we are looking at this plane. So if we were to, say, use copper, copper has a radius of 0.128 nanometers. So the planar density of copper along the 100 plane going to be 0.25 atoms divided by 0.128 nanometers and that gets squared and you end up with 15.26 atoms per square nanometer. And if we multiply by ten to the seventh nanometers per centimeter, and that gets squared. We end up with 1.53 times 10 to the 22nd atoms per cubic centimeter. In order to find the same planar density for the um, 110 plane, you do a similar analysis here and I'll simply leave the rest of those calculations to the viewer but so you can check your work. I end up with 1.0 Seven nine times ten to the twenty second atoms per square centimeter. And as you can see, again, 
that this value here is definitely greater than this value here by an order of 50 percent, about 50 percent larger. Okay, well I hope this uh, video was instructive and that it helped you uh, learn more material science. Uh, by the way, John Wiley and Sons makes a great textbook. Um, it is Callister and Rethwich. This is from the fourth edition. And uh, please uh, purchase it um, and keep it because it will be a great reference for uh, uh, many uses in the future.